Total for your order will be $59.29. It's getting pretty serious. We've made a list. We're at Truitt's. We're checking it twice. We, we've made the list and now we're second guessing it now that we're, it's about time to order. So we're trying to rationalize it. We have the mango bubble tea, the macadamia nut cookie, the pineapple chicken tacos with sweet potato fries. And we have a cram lime lemonade. Then we have the tropical nugs, pineapple macadamia nut milkshake, regular four count of nuggets, and the luau burger with sweet potato fries. Okay, so what are you suggesting in addition to this? Some of the fish tacos. Pineapple rice. The pineapple fried rice if they have it. But they said they might not have. But I'm interested in trying it. I'm all for the fried cod tacos. So you're out on the mahi? I'm just, I don't want to doubt Chick-fil-A. Okay. No, I hear you. Windsor's getting unrestless though. Windsor! It, unrestless is not a thing. He's getting restless, not Oh. Aloha, thanks for choosing Treads. Hello, my name is Charmaine. And may I have a name for your order? What can I get for you today? We had a couple of questions first. Do you have the mango bubble tea? Yes, we do. Uh, macadamia nut cookies right now? Yes. Pineapple fried rice? No rice, sorry. The macadamia nut cookie? Uh, pineapple chicken tacos with sweet potato fries? A strawberry bubble lemonade? The tropical nuggets? Pineapple macadamia nut milkshake? The cod tacos? four count nuggets, a luau burger with sweet potato fries. Are there any special sauces? We have a tropical sauce, uh, we have tropical sauce, teriyaki, and then the volcano sauce that comes in the chicken sauce. All three plus ranch, please. And this will complete your order? Yes, ma'am. I have you down for a mango bowl of tea, a macadamia nut cookie, a pineapple chicken taco meal with medium sweet potato fries, and a strawberry bubble lemonade, eight count tropical nuggets, a pineapple nut shake, codfish tacos, Corn fried nugget, a little burger meal with medium sweet potato fries, medium sweet tea, and then I have your sides of tropical sauce, teriyaki, and volcano sauce. Total for your order will be $59.29. Thank you. My pleasure. Sing. Oh my god, Jenny, you have a leaning tower. <laughs> okay, so this is the new place here in Georgia. It's a little drive outside of Atlanta for us, but it's a Chick-fil-A Hawaiian theme, so it has its own unique menu. You can still get a lot of the Chick-fil-A like normal stuff, but uh, it's all like Hawaiian, if you can say that. Included with the Hawaiianing of things, they have these sweet potato fries, and then they also have new special sauces okay we got tropical teriyaki and volcano i'm guessing volcano is hot this one's probably um the tropical the sweet potato fries are perfect well that's kind of spicy mm -hmm. so this one's supposed to be really hot i bet we came on a day when it was like a monsoon how much were the sauces a dollar a piece I'm not gonna lie guys mm -hmm. we dropped a lot of coin on this 50 cents a piece um, and it's much more expensive than the normal Chick-fil-A. I made red status. Jenny got a red status. A couple of things to keep in mind. Everyone thinks of Chick-fil-A as like as big as McDonald's, which I think that in gross sales, they are actually really close now, but they are still privately owned. So one of the owners, uh, Truett Kathy, I think that Kathy's own Chick-fil-A, kind of likes to do these one-off little concepts. There are three of these types of concepts only in the Atlanta Metro. Um, there's Dwarf House, which is kind of like, like a waffle house, like a pull-up breakfast bar and stuff like that. They also have, it's called Truett's Grill, and it's like Southern style, so everything's like uh, biscuits and gravy, and okra, coleslaw, stuff like that. And then this one is Hawaiian themed, so everything's Hawaiian. So what we got was we got pineapple chicken tacos, the tropical nuggets, the fish nuggets, a regular four count for my dog, a luau burger, macadamia nut cookie, sweet potato fries, tropical sauce, teriyaki sauce, ranch, a pineapple milkshake, pa pineapple macadamia nut, which is really good, bubble teas, which are weird. They have a uh, little fake tapiocas that kind of feel more synthetic than what I'm used to. Um, and then a, and then a sweet tea, I guess, but uh, I don't know. I didn't order that, but uh, yeah, so this was a uh, $59, which is the most I've ever spent at any drive-through. So what is this? That's cod or chicken. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's cod. All right. 
Let me give this a go. This is my favorite song. Windsor, can you hold stuff? So this I think is probably gonna be their most popular. And I think that what they try and do with these uh, concepts is pull some things from these menus that are popular and put them on the normal menu. Like at Truett's Grill, they came up with the mac and cheese that's everywhere at Chick-fil-A now. So anyways, this is the uh, tropical nuggets. Not bad. And then I got the only beef thing I've ever seen on their menu, their lunch menu, the uh, Luau Burger, which is a, a third pound beef, bacon, pineapple, and then there's some sauce on top. Yeah, anyways, it's not bad for a place that just does chicken. Really? Yeah. That was my only concern. The, the beef kind of tastes more like breakfast beef. I kind of wonder if that's, um, because I think they have a breakfast a sausage. That's kind of what it tastes like. Here, try it. Breakfast see. I think you're only getting that because the grill, the grill of the pineapple. Oh, really? Because it's not sausage. No, I know. I like it though. I definitely didn't get our cookie. So is that everything? Yeah, let me try the chicken taco. Oh, they're grilled. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. I'm glad I got him regular nuggets. He would have never eaten those. You're right. Okay, impressions. Sweet potato fries need to come to all chip plays. Agreed. Chicken tacos are the easiest to eat. The cod's okay. Now, there was another fish taco we didn't get because we were already at $60 and that's kind of ridiculous anyways. But there's a mahi option, which was a dollar more than the cod. This is my favorite. Oh yeah, the macadamia nut milkshake. But They're pretty much chopped up little macadamia nuts, not pureed or anything, you can taste them. Oh, it's so good. And they're crunchy. Mm -hmm. I really liked the chicken tacos. The luau burger was... I, I agree. I need to get a better meat, more flavor. There was no seasoning, I think. That might be it. Like if you picture in your mind, like what a, a Carl's Jr. burger tastes like, you can picture that. Well, like what a McDonald's burger also... tastes like, you can picture that very privileged in that you have a wife that can make a mean burger. Whoa! Chef Jenny. Windsor. Windsor. Do you not want it? You call me privileged? Okay. He's straight up turning down the nuggets. It's This is so good. Yeah, that's the best. It's not something I knew I needed. Mm -mm. Sweet potato fries were definitely one of my favorite. I could live without the Lou Hal burger and the cod taco. Uh -huh. I wanted these to be better. I like these a lot, but I wanted them to be better. The sour chicken? Tropical nuggets. Tropical nuggets. The joy of Chick-fil-A. Okay, so I'm gonna sauce this one up. I think if you put like this sauce on it, but that's my favorite sauce. This one's okay, but it's really sweet. Well, that's probably good and on that fish. I mean, look at that. It's, it's like a wine, a wine tasting class, those legs. Well, I bet it's good on that fish though. Yeah, I bet so. I'm gonna try it. I would just try it on one day. And if not, it's only a four hour line to get more. Pretty good. Yeah.